next paper is also about uh, assessment of but not of uh, this nature but of teaching learning resources uh, during the pandemic period um, last year paper is by mr ramesh prasad badoni and he'll talk about the various platforms that that have been used during the last year uh, in this moment of uh, crisis for online learning and teaching and and the devices the nature of social media and so on and so forth and data related to it so uh, the right title of the paper is analyzing teaching learning resources when integrated by the secondary school teachers during covid-19 pandemic the presenter is mr ramesh prasad badoni who is a lecturer in physics uh, <coughs> gic misra's patti dehradun uttarakhand uh, welcome mr ramesh prasad badoni physics lecturer government inter college misra's patti dehradun uttarakhand the theme which i choose is for my study is ict based teaching learning resources and platform my title of study is analyzing teaching learning resources when integrated by secondary school teachers during covid-19 pandemic the gist and abstract of the study is as we know the uh, during pandemic period the system of education a little bit collapsed and in india there are variety of schools which is run by government some of our the public private system and almost majority of the schools adopt ncert curriculum as per the recommendation of national education policy regarding online teaching learning otl processes was implemented in different states of india but the need of the hour in pandemic period shortened the length of the time for its integration in a school education system in spite of difficult time the education system is continuously upgrading digital infrastructure optimum use of resources like blended mode of learning online teaching assessment e content creation development of virtual lab augmented reality e governance sensitivity are taken care of for quality education this analysis is portrayal of otl outcomes of teachers and student of secondary school during quarantine period information communication technology accelerated and influenced the learning outcomes the study find out that the preferred digital resource platform for otl is ncert youtube channel official which is uh, seen and used around 51.1% diksha is around 49.8% and e parsala is around 37.3% the type of digital content was mostly used in the form of text worksheet and document is around 81.7% videos are around 77% interactives are little bit less 19.4% applications and different software used by uh, used for communication uh, like youtube around 66.2% zoom around 94.34% google meet around 48% uh, the different devices for e content delivery or mostly are 91.8% uh, like smartphone laptop are only 32.1% and tablets are almost 7% uh, internet connectivity was fine around uh, 61.1% uh, in average in different parts of the country uh, and uh, the most of the learner uh, was shifted uh, at uh, even uh, you can uh, tv channels uh, and uh, the free disc channel were around 43% and the radio is around 6.4% teacher accepted the assessment was very much challenging around 44% uh, and the content creation was set by 42.7% uh and they says that it is a very difficult task uh, for even uh, most of the effective uh, platform used by the student and teacher uh, like uh, whatsapp uh, around 86% facebook around 24.5% moreover the interesting findings uh, are of this otl is 49% and 64.7% are looking for both online and offline mode in classroom teaching processes the main aim of this study uh, is uh, uh, we can say that uh, the apex body of school education ncert ugc uh, has taken uh, some recent uh, uh, scenarios into action and proactive uh, efforts 
around 30% of the syllabus reduced OTL in different modes like television, radio transmission, MOOCs at same platform and simultaneously promotion a policy to the student who couldn't uh, appear partially uh, to uh, complete their examination. The background of the study was just I said uh, during the corona period the most of the teaching methodology shifted into OTL uh, method. Uh, so. Uh, the majority of the student uh, teachers, policy makers, even administrators and management uh, uh, have the only option, the integration of ICT tool in virtual mode for their uh, classroom learning. Uh, it has been anticipated that forthcoming time will lead uh, to multiple challenges for quality education, hands-on experiences, laboratory work, engaged and interactive classroom, and peer group of learning. Uh, so, uh, keeping that all in mind, now, uh, it has been uh, observed the potential of OTL is continuously making difference in learning style and the transition mode of uh, content delivery uh, to the learners. So, uh, in the viewpoint of understanding teacher and student across the different state of India uh, with respect to uh, different OTL processes, uh, this study has been conducted. The uh, tentative solution from the information gathered after the unlock phase post COVID-19 uh, reflecting uh, the equilibrium trend in online and offline classroom uh, teaching learning. It has been observed that there is a need of the study of OTL for the teacher and student respective of their medium and education board uh, in Indian school to find uh, the present scenario of uh, OTL. The methodology what uh, I had used, uh, we just uh, created a Google form and that has been uh, given to the different teachers of different state, even for the student of the different part of the country, irrespective of their uh, state and the board or medium. The collected responses were around uh, 336, including teachers and student. Even there uh, is eight teachers uh, also participated from outside of the country. Uh, and the survey has been through email, WhatsApp. Investigation and analysis characteristics, behavior and opinion on OTL of the teacher and student from uh, different parts uh, has been taken and the collected responses are part of this study randomly where maximum of the participant responded in each item and the each questions asked in the form uh, to make inferences and conclusions appropriately about the teachers and the student. As these findings are, so conclusion of the study is uh, basically the OTL during COVID-19 and lockdown period findings are the reflections of the concern for the existing educational system. These outcomes are the teacher and student are able to integrate OTL in future. They accepted and adopted the ICT uh, power and the potential. They do believe understanding of available OERs, platforms, web portal and mobile application. The Apex body NCRT, CIT and other initiatives launched by the government to smooth run of OTL using platform Diksha, NCRT official YouTube channel, free uh, OERs and even the, the TV channels and MOOCs at some platform, e-partsala, uh, they, uh, they all have been used during this uh, period. Evaluation and uh, assessment are still a big challenge for the student and teachers. Internet speed is also uh, a big challenge though it, it has been improved uh, for the OTL time. Digital resources and its development must be now uh, as per demography of the country. Uh, I mean the creation of the content uh, can be done as per the need of the state or the different parts of the country. The training and works of now shifted to webinars. Uh, it needs more hands-on practices so that the learning outcomes can be achieved. Uh, as the learner are not compatible with OTL mostly, so they need a support and enriched application of ICT tools. Teacher and student need uh, that the country uh, also be a little bit more potential uh, to put on social media network, evaluation portal and uh, OERs. OTL and its, its potential so that everyone including young minds uh, need proper safe guided approach in handling the digital resources if unwanted floating in uh, education platform. So the further scope uh, of the study is to measure different competencies of the learner with the uses of OTL it has been seen. The component of OTL and social audit will indeed be a part of the study in future because now hybrid learning, machine learning and virtual learning are emerging as alternate uh, mode of the traditional teaching learning methods. Um, thanks a lot, Mr. Badoni, for that very interesting uh, presentation. 
we at CIT and CRT here can give ourselves a little pat on the back um, from the findings with NCRT and official and Diksha being um, the mainly used uh, main used platforms for the um, OTL. Um, however, there's some very interesting findings that um, YouTube is more popular than than Diksha itself is something that is food for thought and Zoom and WhatsApp. Uh, despite all the apprehensions around these two apps seem to be uh, <clears throat> much ahead of all the other apps. And the most interesting finding of this research is that OTL and offline, uh, despite the euphoria of all the other earlier papers, this paper suggests that it's a 50-50 stake, that people are not so enthusiastic about online learning after all. So questions related to this is very provocative presentation at the end.